past th 15 weeks and counting, three dancers had to get a little creative to continue offering their viewers their beloved performances. Founder and principal ballerina of ARC Entertainment Company, Kirsten Bloom Allen and her two dancers join us this morning to talk more about their live stream performances that have caught the U.S. military's attention. Good morning, Kirsten. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us back on your show. Absolutely. By popular demand, I might add, my, my knowledge of dancing is limited to the movie Billy Elliot. I want to be in the ballet. <laughs> so help me out yes. with the proper pronouns as it relates to male dancers. Are they, help me out. Ballet sure, dancers. sure. So for the female, we're called the ballerina and then the men are called male dancers. All right, and could you introduce your male dancers who have been locked down with you? Absolutely, yes. So on my left over here, I have Magnus Christofferson, and on my right, I have Tigran Sargassian. Uh, well, lucky you to be uh, locked down with uh, two hunks. Yes, <laughs> we've had a lot of fun. Yeah. We've, we've uh, really enjoyed this time creating new works and um, trying to provide the sense of entertainment and a little bit of relief from all of the uncertainty that's going on in the world right now through the beautiful art form of dance that we, we all love. Uh, absolutely. Anybody who, anybody who has watched knows that we're talking about elite athletes. My, uh, I bow down to all three of you because uh, I, I, I have no flexibility, oh. so what you do is absolutely amazing. You're incredible athletes. Tell us how the military Thanks. caught your, uh, you caught the eye of the military. Uh, yes, the, uh, the USO reached out to us and they saw one of our performances, one of our live streams, and asked us to perform for the entire U.S. military, both here in the U.S. and abroad. And we were, of course, so honored and humbled to do that. Um, we danced four pieces for them and we're going to perform for them again on uh, 4th of July. We have a 4th of July special coming up on Saturday at noon. We're live streaming a free performance and we're, we're just, we're so honored to have performed for the military. That just really was special for all three of us. How do you guys, uh, how do you make it through a, four, it seems such, such physical work and how do you make it through that many pieces in one, your, your, your endurance must be incredible. Is it just conditioning? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, and, and also a thing as a professional ballet dancer, you're used to working eight hours a day and then a show at night. So, you know, two hours a day is actually it's an easy more schedule easy, for yeah, us. <laughs> for what we're used to. The Crazy conditions enough. are a bit different. The floor is different, but well, work is uh, easier actually. All right, hey. Yeah, uh, we have to deal with the elements as certain days with rain or v days right. that got very hot makes it makes it a little bit harder, but we just power through. Not to put a ceiling on your careers, but I know what a professional athlete's longevity is. You hit a certain age and suddenly you can't jump as high. Like, what is the lifespan of a, a professional dancer? Well, typically it's around mid thirties, but uh, with with modern technology and physical therapies, um, dancers are extending their careers much later um, into their forties, some into their fifties now. Um, you know, I think a lot of it is how well you take care of yourself, how well you keep up your body, keep up your conditioning. Um, you know, eating healthy, all the things that we should be doing anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, you know, can really keep going as long as your body stays healthy. Fair enough. All right, so yeah. you uh, the eating healthy part, you lost me there because I, 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 could, I couldn't make that sacrifice. Um, I'm betting not one of you has been through a drive through a fast food restaurant in a long time, correct? Well, well we, yes. have our, we have our cheat days. <laughs> All right, so what performance are you going to share with us? Uh, today we're going to dance uh, Shallow. Um, and Tigran and I are going to dance it together. It was choreographed by Magnus, and we're going to move the chairs and set up and get ready to perform for you guys. Uh, the stage is yours. Please do your Thank thing. You. Awesome.
Bravo! Kirsten Bloom Allen and her two dancing compadres making the most of COVID-19. Thank you so much. We got a call to conversation, but quickly, where can people find you on social media? Yes, uh, ARC, ARC Entertainment Company, letters ARC, uh, Instagram and Facebook, and we're live streaming daily from there.